Valve founder thinks a video game brain controls are possible and is looking to lead the way. Sorry Gabe, you snooze, you lose. This guy already beat you to it. Hi, I'm Ryan, a Scottish designer and writer. One of my many interests is creating alternative or accessible control designs. Today I'm going to be showing you this headset that I made. Not only does it hide the fact that I need a haircut after lockdown, it also allows you to play games using just the power of your mind. Based off the work of Eric, Micah and Cole, I was able to convert a MindFlex kids toy into a functioning EEG that I could interface with my computer via Chinese Arduino Nano. So I can use this device to read my brainwaves. It's not 100% accurate seeing as it's based off of a kids toy, but it works well enough. I can even use external software to visualize my brain data and see that I am in fact not brain dead, which is good to know. So you may be wondering how I can use this to interface with video games. My solution was just to take some wires and attach it to an old USB mouse. The headset works so that if my attention goes above a certain value, code is triggered that activates the wires that are connected to the mouse. This activates and clicks the mouse. So essentially, if I'm thinking hard enough, I can click a mouse using my headset. Plug this into a game and it should work really off the bat with anything you want, including games like Valorant, where I can use it to shoot my gun. Or I can go for a walk using the power of my mind in what remains of Edith Finch. And I can even use Fusrada in Skyrim to yeet someone across the tavern just by thinking about it. Ultimately, do I think this headset works well? Hell no, it's really bulky, it's super uncomfortable because it's so tight on your head and I need to douse my head in salt water to get it to work properly every time I want to use it and that just really messes with my complexion. It's not fun to use whatsoever. I'm not surprised that this kind of toy died out in the early 2010s because they're just not practical and they're a gimmick, a fad. The technology just wasn't there yet and this is the kind of product that you get. Do I think the mind control games have a place in the future? For sure. I'm really excited to see what people like Gabe Newell or other companies working on this technology can come up with. I think there's a lot of potential and integrating this kind of headset already into the straps or supports for a VR headset could work really well and I'll be excited to see if someone manages to pull that off. Comparing this headset to potential future headsets is like comparing a Viewmaster to a modern day Vive or Oculus VR headset. There's just no competition. This is old, bulky and mostly a joke. What we really need to remember at the end of the day, um, what's important to keep in mind is just one thing. And that is that I was first. I beat Gabe Newell to it. I made this first. So Gabe, if you're watching this, you can take your fancy steam and you can go shove up your ass.